Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's the Theban Gamer. Uh, today, I'm coming at you guys with a video on how we're going to explain the GPU shortage crisis. Uh, there's been a lot of people out there looking for a graphics card, and they see the high prices, and maybe they're not completely in tune with what's going on, or you know why prices are so high, or why maybe two years ago they would have seen a graphics card for like 150 bucks. These days, it's like 300, 350 dollars. So, I'm going to explain the GPU shortage crisis. So everyone's informed. I'm going to show why the prices are so high and then at the end i'm going to give uh two viable options for people who absolutely need a graphics card and i'm going to give a recommendation uh, at the end on what people may want to do uh in in uh these these trying times so let's get started so the shortage crisis itself what is it caused by well it's really caused by crypto mining farms and then material shortages uh lowering supply in the market so really with the crypto mining farms, again, these are sometimes wealthy individuals, sometimes corporations. They're buying up hundreds of GPUs and they're basically hoarding them to themselves uh, for their use in mining, right? So this is really going to tie into the price of crypto, what their profitability is. And this is going to really, you know, this is really what's kind of the crux of what's causing it. The second thing would also be the material shortages due to all the high demand um, and people staying at home. Um, there's been shortages within supply chains in China, right? Uh, especially in Taiwan where they make most of these uh, GPUs. You know, there's, there's been uh, droughts and there's been things that have been really, really uh, lowering the supply a little bit. So that's more of a secondary reason. It's really not the primary reason because there's always been these little shortages and hiccups there and there's never been pricing like this. So what are prices like today? Well, currently for NVIDIA GPUs, on average, they're about 180% MSRP. So almost double of what they used to be selling for. And by the way, this also includes used GPUs. So if you look go if you're looking for a 1660 Super, if you're looking for uh you know a 1070, a 1080, go look at what their MSRPs were, go look at what they were selling at before uh the crisis started, and go see at what they're selling at now and you'll be shocked, right? Um 1070s are selling for like four hundred dollars US right now. And this is this is mostly due to like the the pretty recent uh crypto profitability gains just due to the price increases. But still, for four hundred fifty dollars for a ten seventy, that's ridiculous. You know, ten eighties, five hundred dollars, uh, easy. And those those are GPUs that they released for those MSRPs and used. They were only like, you know, two hundred two fifty on the used market before um you know all this craziness started. For AMD GPUs, it's even even worse. It's two hundred percent MSRP. Uh, why is this? Well, it's not because of the gaming performance, of course. It's because of the mining. Uh, these GPUs are generally more profitable. Uh, when it comes to mining uh especially you know the 580s uh, 8, 8 gigabyte and like um some of the other gpus they're just more prof profitable when it comes to mining and that profitability you'll see directly correlates to the prices right there's literally uh sites online where you can go see what the most profitable graphics cards are for mining what type of bitcoin and if you go on those sites you'll literally see that the the price uh on the street right used and new for the graphics card 100% correlates to what the most profitable GPUs are uh, for these miners. And then, you know, third are obviously the, because of crypto prices and profitability uh, going up. This is going to increase uh, GPU um, prices, right? And it's directly correlated. And you'll see that uh, when you, if you do some research and look up the list, you'll see that the most profitable GPUs. And then also when this crypto uh, itself increases in profitability, You'll see the prices spike just like they did uh, in the month of October when Ethereum, which is the main uh, uh, crypto that's being mined by graphics card, uh, increased in price. So did all the prices for GPUs. So moving on, uh, just how many GPUs do these mining farms buy? Well, a single small mining farm can have 100 to 500 GPUs. Uh, corporate farms can have thousands. So this is not a small amount of GPUs. This is not. You know, a cousin or something like that buying four GPUs. These are large corporations that are going in uh, to to the manufacturers themselves, and they're buying hundreds, if not thousands, of GPUs in large pallets that they can uh, put in their warehouses and mining farms and mine it. Uh, you know, for profitability, right? Corporations um, really have a large stake, right, in this Ethereum. If, if they think this is the future, they're really going to invest heavily uh, in it, right? So they're gonna they're not you know going to be shy about paying for these GPUs. On the flip side, if it doesn't work out right, they can still sell them for some residual, which is why many, uh, well, you know, wealthy investors and things like that, they they prefer GPUs over ASICs miners. And ASICs miners are basically just, uh, you know, 
dedicated miners for just crypto. They can't really be used for other other things really. Um, they prefer these GPUs because they have more resale value. Whereas these ASIC miners, once you know the the profitability goes to a certain level and they're not profitable, they're basically like potatoes. You know, no one's going to buy them from you. So right now, I'm going to show you guys an example of these farms, just so you can see how big these operations are. So that was straight from YouTube, just a tour of a mining farm. Uh, again, some of those were GPUs, some of those were just ASICs miners uh, themselves. So not all of them were GPUs, but it just shows you how big the scale is of these operations. So the state of the market, right? New GPUs are double MSRPs with scalpers being the ones to profit. And used GPUs have uh, similarly, they've gone up in price $100, $200. And here we have uh, a great example, the infamous 1066 gigabyte. Uh, this thing you could easily find used before for you know 150 dollars uh, you know maybe 200 at some point now if you look at the best ebay selling prices they're around 300 dollars, and these were sold uh today right so that just shows you um you know the, the the demand for these cards right uh if you look at these ebay listings uh the card at the bottom here had 10 bidders who are all willing to pay you know close to 300 dollars for it so it's not just these are not one-off listings um they're just examples of what you're co you're commonly going to see but what are options for gamers that need graphics cards now uh this is a great question and this is something that actually befell myself uh i was using um previously an r9 280x which was on this list and for me it just didn't cut it i wanted to record gameplay and the r9 280x just really couldn't record anything i needed to upgrade so i'm going to I'm just going to go through some options that are uh, they're good for uh, gamers that really just need something cheap so they can play some free-to-play titles or even gamers that want to have a graphics card you know capable of playing the latest titles uh, the first thing is going to be the 980 Ti uh, this is what I just upgraded to um, and this is uh, an older Nvidia graphics card but this is still a good one if you look at the performance metrics it uh, has the same performance performance as a GTX GTX 1070 almost the exact same the only difference is that it has two gigabytes less of vram it has six gigabytes of vram versus the eight gigabytes that's really the only difference other than that they perform the exact same uh the 980 ti is the best price to performance in a bad market and why is that it's because it's useless for mining and there's low competition uh for both miners and other gamers right gamers think it's a little bit too old they don't really equate this to being really a 1070 that uses a little bit more power uh, they don't a lot of gamers don't equate that they see 980 ti oh that's four generations old you can't buy it but rest assured you know it works flawless for me you can play newest games at uh, high settings 1080p um 1440p maybe a little bit more a little too much for that so if you're looking for 1440p this is probably not worth it but if you're looking for 1080p gaming and you want to play the, the the newest games right uh control um you know, i'm trying to think of uh you know the witcher 3 i'm trying to think of uh, you know the newest games right upcoming company heroes 3 right all those games they're gonna run just fine on the 980 ti maybe not at the highest settings but if you put them on high settings it'll be good so i found that you know with miners not wanting this card due to the uh you know the the, the inefficiency is not profitable for mining you can find a ton of these on sale these have gone up in price i got mine for 280 dollars which is you know a little bit overpriced but it's not it's not as bad as what you see a 1070 which is equal to this card is, is selling for about 400 to 450 dollars right so if you put that in the perspective this is not you know a, a a great value in a normal market by any stretch but this is really the best uh price to performance you're going to get in this awful market and you can find tons of them just because miners aren't touching them the next i have the r9 280x uh so this one i've had before and this card I had for a while because it could still pay, play 1080 games, 1080p games. Uh, and even today, you can still play them on like the lowest settings. You can still play 1080p games that come out. Uh, it has 3 gigabytes of VRAM, which is not that great. But on the flip side, it's useless for mining, and you can get these at dirt cheap prices. Uh, gamers, you know, they don't want it because it's too old. A lot of gamers don't even know that it can still play, you know, uh, 
all the free to play games at 1080p destiny 2 uh fortnite dota 2 you know team fortress um even valorant you can still play you can still play a lot of games with this three gigabytes of vram you know it's pushing it these days but it still works and i've even played uh metro exodus on this game 1080p medium settings uh a full playthrough with over 60 fps right so this card can really surprise you uh with with a lot of even today's games and it's still it's still worth um it's still worth some value right another thing is that sellers will often accept a lower offer there's tons of these cards out there you know you can offer them uh, as low as like 90 dollars to be honest maybe even less sometimes if you're in a smaller market and the sellers will take it you know they'll they'll just buy them uh right up so r9280x if you need an absolute budget card uh for the cheap r9280x is still a good option um it is fading a little bit but still a good option if you want the best price to performance the 980 ti is what you're gonna have to go for all and and in speaking i guess to some other cards right um some people you know they really want to get let's say a nvidia uh you know thousand series 10 series and those cards just for the namesake are hilariously overpriced um you'll have you know 1063 gigabytes right that card's going for 300 dollars. that card you know that uh it doesn't even have like how do i say it? like it doesn't even have good performance it only has three gigabytes of vram the 980 ti has six gigabytes of vram that card the three and six gigabyte models are way overpriced um just because they're an nvidia 10 series right so a lot of the 10 series gpus just just aren't even worth it um just because you know they, they still have how do i say it? they still have a lot of gamers that are looking at them and competing for those uh right now so for right now i'd go with one of these two options for anything really newer or more high end you're gonna you're gonna shell out the bag right uh you're not you know i don't really see any other cheap you know cheap options um and like there's even other older options like the r9 390 for example which is just you know for some reason it's like 350 dollars right it's it's not it's more than 980 ti but it doesn't have more performance so i would stick with these two for now if you need something and then you know later down the track maybe you can sell them again and get yourself a new gpu when prices go back to normal so my recommendations in general wait or buy well to, to answer this we gotta really look at the state of the market and what's going to happen in the near future uh what's going to happen in the near future well intel is coming out with their arc gpus which are dedicated graphics cards and should introduce more supply in q1 of 2022 intel is a you know is a large player in the industry when they come out with a pro uh, product they will have tons of supply for it um even with their cpus they never ran out of stock on their cpus uh, even during this whole chip shortage, you can you you're always able to buy um, the CPUs, and for GPUs, that means you know that they're going to have capacity for them. So they should in introduce more supply in Q1 of 2022. Uh, there's no delays, and this should help dram dramatically with prices. Another thing, Ethereum is moving to a proof of stake system, and that basically eliminates graphics cards mining uh, from mining the main coin uh, for graphics card mining. Right, so Ethereum um wanted to conserve energy they saw that it was kind of you know it's not really good for the environment that people are using tons of energy to to mine these you know to mine ethereum and other bitcoin so they just switched their system and they're going to make that switch i believe q2 of 2022 but once that switch happens i think you're going to have a lot of graphics cards miners just selling their you know selling their inventory selling their farms and you're going to have a ton of stock hit the market and I think in Q2 of 2022, you know, Q1, I think you'll see a dramatic price decrease, maybe even back to the mean. And in Q2 of 2022, when Ethereum switches over, I think you're going to see a fire sale on these cards. They're going to be, you know, 80% of what they were before, uh, you know, in 2019, right? Before this, this big boom, they're going to be a lot cheaper than what they were. So what's my, what's my, uh, I guess, recommendation based on these things, right? And just like looking at the market, if if possible, the best option is to wait until Q2 of 2022. Uh, I believe this is when supply will come back and GPU prices will revert to the norms or even lower if we see like a crypto bust or when Ethereum switches. So, you know, I think if you have an old graphics card, you have something that's ancient, maybe just stick with it, play games on, you know, 1080p or even 720p, unfortunately, and just like wait a little bit longer because 
this this bubble is going to pop anyway the all the indicators are showing it now we just have to wait it out uh you know and, and just wait for the market to revert back to the mean this has been the Theban gamer uh just kind of doing this more as like a public service announcement for all those gamers who you know they just want they want to buy something right they want to kind of build their rig and get into pc gaming just doing it as a service announcement to just kind of give people some recommendations and a lay of the land thanks guys for watching make sure to comment like and subscribe and i'll talk to you guys in the next one bye